original out of town production was in a small proscenium type space. And, but when we came to New York to do the transport group workshop, the director had this vision that he, he saw it in the round and we had never really even thought much about it. And um, it wasn't just in the round. The, the play took place inside the circle of the audience, but also outside and in the corners of the room. And mm -hmm. when we ended up off Broadway, it was uh, parts of the show were done above the audience and behind and everywhere, everywhere. Um, and that was really exciting. And, and it kind of opened up the possibilities of the show. We've also seen it done on the thrust stage um, and in a more classic proscenium where there, and there's a set and sometimes there's no set. Um, in the workshop, it was just things that were in the room became the set. Off-Broadway, um, the set was basically a pile of lawn chairs, and those lawn chairs became all these different destinations. Mm -hmm. So um, there's just so much flexibility in the way you can do it. The show really is an intimate show, and it's um, you're meant to feel like you know each of the characters personally when you leave. like that that they're people you actually met. And so you, whether you do it on a proscenium or in the round, you always want to have that intimacy mm -hmm. um, there for you. Yeah, we're, we're particular about a handful of things as the <laughs> authors, but not on set. Um, the, the, the set is, we, we, we've seen great interpretations and right, you can be really literal, you can be elaborate, you can use all kinds of lighting, or you can just, have the lights on and have them off. I mean, you can really be very um, bare minimum and do this on a shoestring if you want to. One of the things that I'm really proud of about the show is um, that it's not just a great experience for the audience, but it's also a great experience for the people putting the show together. And that um, we tried to really g give the actors as much to work with as possible. Um, you depending on how you cast it, whether you cast it with seven or all the way up to 13, everyone has a character and a unique um, story, and so everyone has a part in the show that they can really dig into. One of the other assets of the show is its um, sort of age range. We, we, we go from high school boys that are typically played by maybe a little older characters, but they're high school boys all the way up to a grandfather. Um, and I think that there's a little something in it for everybody. It's got like a rock and roll, driving, rebellious thing going on with the Coney Island guys. And then it also has a really sweet love story aspect for um, sort of the, the, the slightly older um, set um, in the Alamo and, um, and then everything else in between.